Hey, what's up guys? How you guys doing? So, trying to make this video as short as possible. But I got an interesting comment, a couple of them, on the LG Realms root video. And I have the LG Realm here for demonstration purposes, I guess. I'm not really going to demonstrate how to root it again. Um, well, I wouldn't even consider the first one an actual demonstration because it had gotten root and I just told people how I did it. But... Currently, the LG Realm is not my phone anymore, so I can't actually fully unroot it to do a video to show you guys. But I do have it here for, you know, just in case I need it. Okay, so um, the, uh, the main one that I want to talk about, the main comment that was done was from Jennifer Ashton Smith. And uh, the comment basically says, Can you explain how to root a bit more, please? I would like to root my new Aquos also and my mom needs her realm rooted. Not all of us are tech smarties. I'm not dumb but just have never had to root a phone and honestly don't understand. Okay. Well, in a nutshell, your phone comes to you the way the carrier feels that you would use the phone. And um, so pretty much it's locked in a way. Now, with it being, um, with you rooting the phone, you are in a way unlocking the phone for you to make changes to the phone that they feel an average person wouldn't need to, you know, ever mess with those types of options. So. Oh, dinner's ready. Okay. Continuing on. So, when you root your phone, it basically is allowing the phone system to know that you can make changes to certain areas that you really wouldn't mess with at all. And it gives permission to applications that need to alter a certain area of the system files the is giving it permission to do so because it's unlocked so that's like the easiest way I can basically explain root is having full control over your device and allowing applications that require you to have full control permissions to make changes or to add a you know add an additional feature that otherwise wouldn't be possible to run on your device without those permissions so what I'm gonna do is is I'm going to edit the other video later on and I'm gonna add a download link of the tile root application that I used because I don't know if they updated it you know on tile roots website so I'll put the version that I had that worked for me because one of the biggest issues that everyone's having is that the app won't install or the app won't root and honestly I haven't really played too much with the LG Realm because it's technically not my phone. So I rooted it, I did things to it, and boom, gave it to the owner. So, um, yeah. As far as for the Aquos Crystal, I don't own the phone, so I really can't tell you on how to root it. But if you go over to XDA, someone there might know. XDA is a huge community of techies and developers that they discover these things, they do these things, they build ROMs and and root methods and all kinds of stuff. So you'll probably get you know the best answers over there with XDA. Um, another thing I want to address real quick is on that video's comments there was a person who stated that they got um, 12 gigs on the LG Realm unlocked or freed up or whatever and I got to respond and it's you know not calling the person a liar but I don't know. I really have to say that that's impossible because the phone only comes with four gigs of internal storage. And when they put internal storage in, it's not like there's an endless supply of internal storage and four gigs is what's what's usable. But if you were to surpass, you know, like free up a lot of things, you can go beyond that. Like no, the 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 internal drive itself only has four gigs. The only way anyone could actually like have like unlock 12 gigs on the LG Realm is if you took the phone apart piece by piece and basically rebuilt the phone with the 
bigger internal drive. And, you know, um, yeah, so using, uh, root, using, you know, rooting your phone and then uh, de-bloating it will not get you 12 gigs free. The closest you can get to of freeing up is maybe like 1.2 gigs. You can free up, you know, if you de-bloat it like a lot. Uh, people have been asking me what was de-bloated from the LG Realm that I rooted. Really quick. I can just go through the app drawer and you guys can do like a comparison to your app drawer. Uh, these are the apps that I have on here. Um, but if you're looking for any of the bloatware apps, look through this list and compare it to your device. And then you'll know exactly which apps I took out that was safe. Also, I'll go into uh, settings and into applications, and I'll go to all, and we'll scroll through it. Um, now, try to go as slow, but not too slow, so you guys can look at the list and compare it to yours. So you guys can see which ones I removed. A lot of the uh, the com dots I didn't take out, just because to me I believe you know. To me, those have to have some sort of bond with the Optimus UI, and I wouldn't want the phone to act buggy or even get bricked from removing them. So I didn't take those out. Uh, a couple of ones that I do know that I took out. I did take out the um, the stock email from LG. I took those out. And uh, the themes for the LG keyboard, I took those off as well. I'm trying to speed this up because it's already like a seven minute video. Also, too, you can pause at certain points if you want to, like, really see the list, you know, a lot longer. But there's a lot of applications that's on here. So there we go. I kept the black theme because I like that one. Plus, it's a battery saver, too, if you have, like, the black keyboard instead of the white one because then less bulbs are used to make black than it does to make white so there you go <laughs> try to speed this up at any point you guys can just pause and look at the list But these are the list of apps that remain on the device itself. So whatever you don't see in this well in this list that you have in yours is safe to uninstall. And uh, that's pretty it for this video. Um, it's kind of long still, but I apologize for that. And um, yeah, so tomorrow check back for you know to the root video the actual one that I did and I'll have a link to my Google Drive that has the tower roots application the version that I used and hopefully that will help a lot of you out who's been experiencing um, issues installing the app or even running the app or obtaining root uh, but that's it really um, simple step process just you know install tower root click make it rain let it do its thing when it's done Go to the Google Play Store, install Super SU. When you get Super SU, open it, uh, click OK to update SU binary, then choose the normal method, not the twerp or clockwork mod, because there's no recovery on the phone but the stock one, and the stock one will not do it. So just choose a normal version, let that go through. When it reboots, you're, you're good. And uh, you can start. Um, you can download applications like Root Browser and you can start debloating it. As I just gave you guys a list of applications 
that is still on the phone and the phone still functions great so then you'll be able to use that as reference to know what you can take off safely without breaking the device and that's it so if you guys like this video go and give me a thumbs up um, click that subscribe button over there <laughs> I'll never get that right and uh, to all my new subscribers thank you guys for subscribing I passed the 800 mark which is really awesome and uh, yeah I'll see you guys next time